Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to the strip from DDMF. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do follow the instruction contained in the video description. Thank you again. So as you can see, the strip is an essential channel strip, the finest EQ. You have gate, you have compressor, you have six band EQ here, high pass filter, low pass filter, um, oversampling here, nice metering, and you have also a really nice UI. As you can see, I'm inside AUM, so AUV3 compliant, but you can also find it in different other versions as well. So VST, VST3, AU, etc. So, and of course on iOS, as you can see inside AUM. So the other thing that I want you to notice is the DSP usage, which is really, really low. At the moment, I have only loaded a file player here, just one audio channel, one file player, and then, of course, I have the strip here. And the fact that it's so low on DSP means that you can load it inside every channel. You really of your composition that give you high class, of course, uh, a mixing console for every channel that you have available um, in your composition, in your setup. So um, let's listen first to the file that I have prepared for you using an, um, another product. And then we apply uh, the strip and just show you a little bit how it works. <music> Okay, nice uh, composition, simple one created, created with Bitly Pro, definitely recommend it. So now, so we have a section here up here, which you can enable EQ and also disable it, of course. Then here you have your input and output, uh, sorry, your input um, in terms of level in decibel and shows you all for overload. And you have the similar output here with overload as well and you adjust in decibel. So let's try. <laughs> And of course, the overload LED becomes uh, red when you are in overload mode. Now, you have a high pass filter here and you have a corresponding low pass filter here. So let's listen to how they adjust. <laughs> And please notice again, the this DSP usage is really, really low, which is amazing. Now here you have a six band EQ, and uh, you can also adjust the uh, Q here for the low mid and also for the high mid. So, and of course you can then adjust the frequency for all of them and the gain in decibel. <laughs> You can hear that the quality of the EQ um, bands and the filters is really, really nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now here you have also a gate, which you can of course enable here. And then you set the threshold um, beyond which it kicks off the range in terms of how much you impact the reduction. And then you have attack and release as thunder. <laughs> You can see uh, low in the range, it lowers, of course, the impacted uh, signal going through the threshold. And you have some really nice LED here, which shows you the impact. And of course, pay attention to the attack and the release because it makes a big difference. And then, of course, you have a compressor as well, and you have a traditional control, so you have threshold ratio, 1 to 10, and then, of course, you can adjust the attack and release as well, and you have this nine, nice meter as well, which shows you how the compressor works, and, of course, you need to enable it here. The other thing you can do over here, you have phase invert, which um, comes really handy. And then you can send compressor through EQ, which is really great. And then you can have oversampling on and off. And this is it, it's really straightforward in terms of uh, using it, really. But please, again, notice the DSP usage is so good that, of course, you can use it in many, many channels in your composition inside your preferred host, AUM, Cubases, GarageBand, etc., etc. I hope you enjoyed the tutorials and demonstration. See you next time. Bye.